All right, we're gonna talk about pressure chambers today. A um, couple things. Uh, well, first off, you don't, you don't have to go out and, unless you want to buy one of those really expensive pressure chambers that are specifically for pressure casting. Uh, you can get by until you make enough money to make the, the investment, but uh, I have modified some pressure, uh, some paint buckets that you pressurize so you can use the spray walls, whatever. And uh, I got this one at Harbor Freight, and I got this one off of Amazon. This one, all together with the pressure chamber, was actually 100 bucks. It was a sale, and I got lucky. And this one was about 260 online, shipped. Um, so that's pretty good. I had to do a couple of things to modify them, though. And so if you're still a little confused about uh, what I show you, you can look up something that's called air pigs. Make a, an air pig. Basically, that's what these are, in a way. Um, an air pig is some, it's a tank that you can store air in, pressurized air, so you can uh, throw it in the back of your work truck and use it to inflate tires or something uh, where you don't have a power source. Anyways, to start off with this guy, this one was really easy to modify. So it was what I did. I took out the, uh, there was a, a tube that attached here and went down so that's where when you pressurize it, it puts all that pressure and the paint will go up the tube and that's where your um, your nozzle hooks up to. Uh, I did some different things here. I took all the other stuff off and made it so that my uh, I could put my inlet here, attach my air hose there and I could check my my pressure and I sealed this off. Now this wasn't the best, I mean, it's not the best paint bucket. Uh, it leaked a bit. So what I did, which you can kind of see there, is I actually poured silicone in this. I tried to keep it level when I poured it, and I, I poured around here and, and in there because there were some leaks in there too, and uh, made a, a better gasket. The other one was, it was just kind of crummy. Anyways, it was leaking all the time. So that's something you can do, and... See, it was leaking out there and there. So there were some other issues there. But that's a that's a cheap cheap way to go about it. And when you close these things, um, you know, just like when you put on a car tire, you do opposite sides, opposite sides, opposite sides uh, to kind of even out the 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 points of pressure. Otherwise you're going to warp your lid and that's not going to be good. You're going to have a really bad seal then. So that's that's that one. Uh, the purpose behind this box is it has tin foil wrapped around the inside on the upper section and I've got a box down here. So if I it's really cold in the winter time and uh, the material doesn't like to set up in the cold or it's just taking a really long time or I want to speed it up I'll put a, a lamp in there. You don't, you gotta be careful, you know. Uh, don't be starting fires. But uh, I put a, a lamp in there, just a normal bulb, um, and it will re reflect the heat up in here and warm up the tank. I mean, if you start a fire and it's really hot, then the tank will explode, and you don't want that. So just be careful. If you blow something up, it's not my fault. I warned you. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's let's look at this guy. Okay, let's just come a little closer. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's that's okay, right? Okay, this guy was a lot harder to modify. I actually had it cut off the the tube that came through here, and then I had to do a lot of finagling. But is what I ended up doing was plugging this hole with a washer. A metal washer, two metal gaskets, a bolt, a bolt in the washer on this other side. Um, made a pretty good seal. So I was happy about that. Uh, took a couple other things off. This is where I will put my inlet. So that's where I hook up my air hose. And if I want to put 
air into the smaller air pig, then I can just connect it on here and then connect it into my other tube. Or this is where I evacuate all the air. The other guy you just have to evacuate through here. But uh, this was this was nice to have those there. Um, another thing, when you are putting your lid on, you know, just make sure that you got a nice clean gasket. You don't got uh, pieces of plastic floating around there. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to make a, a poor seal. Um, so. If you guys do your tank, uh, you can go ahead and look back at what I have going on with my lid. You can kind of piece together what your specific pot needs um, and then go from there. Another thing that I did, uh, if you can see down here, is I put some feet on here and I made sure that they were level. This bench that it sits on is not level because this is in my garage and the whole floor slants down. so water oil can leak out uh not pull up but so i made sure that this was level where it's standing and that's really important when you're pouring rubber molds because you want to have them level if you're going to do a two-part block mold um because it uh, distributes the the pressure best anyways um if you could see that <laughs> so there we go. So there we go. Uh, I put some a washer and a nut there. Oh, that's kind of loose. Not cool. And a washer and a nut down there. You can't really see it. But and there's my there's my air compressor. Any air compressor would work. Just as long as you can get enough psi going on. And I believe I believe that's all. Um, again, if I miss something, um, go ahead and write in the comments and ask me a question. I'll try and answer it for you. Cool. All right. Well, uh, next time. <laughs>